What's going on guys? It's gonna be a different change of pace today for this video. I'm gonna be working on the race trailer. So I picked this up last year. It is a 2017. However, it does have this dent in the side of it. So what I wanna try and do in this video is take this um, like panel off and just kind of see what kind of damage we have back behind here. So I'm not exactly sure what this is gonna consist of. I don't really know what the design of these trailers are. So I imagine they have some type of beams that go up that's why there's screws there holding the panels to the beams. And I imagine one or two or three of those beams are bent. So I'm kind of curious to see if we could just take them and bend them back. So the reason why I want to fix this dent on the side of the trailer is because actually here, I'll show you guys on the inside, the tub for the insides, like where the tires are right here is actually right where it uh, is messed up. So right here, it has a big dent and you can actually see through it and it allows water to get inside here. You can kind of see, like it's kind of stained right here. So I want to try and take some of this wood off if I have to, uh, nail it back on later and fix this dent here and then caulk all the seams so that way water can't get in here while we're on trips and if it's raining. Now I know you guys might be wondering why aren't you working on the RX-7 instead? Well, just kind of taking a break on it and I kind of not changed directions, but I'm gonna wait a little bit because I want to redo some of the stuff. I want to redo my wishbone and the four link brackets. I'm gonna tie them into the cage thought mine as well let's do it now be easier just do it now so change up the pace a little bit while I'm waiting on some stuff to come in just want to use this time of uh, like staying away from people and uh, not doing as much to do stuff that I've always been putting off so I've always wanted to fix this dent on the trailer it's a really nice trailer other than this big dent right here so the dude claims that this is from a blowout but me and why are pretty positive at least why it's really convinced I don't know I kind of believe the dude but why it's real convinced that he clearly hit something because I don't really know how a blowout does that much damage. So I'm going to start off like you can see up in there the, the whole oh, you can't really see it, but the tub is all messed up. So I'm going to start off. Uh, we're going to do a time lapse, of course, for you guys, because I know you guys love those. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, the little like beauty piece around here on the wheel tubs off first. I'm going to try and straighten that piece out as well. And then I'm going to take this panel off right here. So let's do it. As you can see, I got the one panel off. I was kind of inspecting this a little bit and kind of checking it out. You can kind of see really the only one that is bent is this one right here. This one's pretty good. The wood is uh, detached from it. So I think what happened was when this one popped this way, it broke it off of this piece down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the inside of the trailer. I'm gonna take off the wood that covers up this. And then what I'm thinking is, is because this stuff I mean, it's kind of messed up. It's not broken, it's not bent too bad. I think what we can do is just go from the inside. Once we take the wood off, we can just get a big hammer and uh, smack it back. Get it kind of as good as we can get it. So uh, this might be a quick little fix. See about taking this wood off. I need. I wanted to put some more screws in the wood anyway so it doesn't pop off. I want to paint this thing at some point. I want to paint the floor and do the sides just to help save the wood. So I'm gonna go ahead, go on the inside, take these pieces of wood off and then uh, see if we can just smack this metal back and kind of bend it back into place and shape it back into place. I don't really know how much you guys saw me beating uh, that one post back with a hammer because I think the second I started smacking on it, the GoPro twisted. So I ended up taking a hammer to the one beam that was bent in and straightened it out the best that I could. The, be the Probably the best thing to fix this would have been to cut that out and weld in a new piece. However, I was able to bend it back pretty easily and kind of reform it and it actually looks really good. Obviously, it doesn't look perfect because I didn't replace the panel on the outside. However, I want to show you guys the inside. I was not able to smack 
this big dent out right here it's this stuff's actually pretty thick so i don't really know what the hell happened like i don't really think a tire could have made a dent this big so i definitely think this dude smacked something really hard but i got the wood all uh drilled back in place right here i had to drill a couple new holes into the actual beams to get it on there but the wood actually sits up there now it's not all dented out i'm gonna put these little like trim beauty pieces on later these are just uh like nailed in and they are kind of like peeling off in some spots like like right here so i just want to go over them all and then nail them all in and then i think i'm actually going to caulk everything like all the seams like they caulked the bottom but i'm going to caulk every single seam uh I actually don't know what this is. I think this is gonna be silicone. If they use silicone on this, I probably won't be able to paint over it. The paint doesn't really take, uh, or like the silicone doesn't really take the, the paint. So I will, we'll see. I'll probably use some type of uh, caulk that is good for paint. But yeah, I need to put this piece back up too. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with uh, caulking that side right there, I guess. I might be able to like fill the gap. It just depends how bad it is. I might, I might take the wheel off and see if I can smack that thing harder. But got all these screws back in. Looks pretty good, minus those little beauty pieces. Like I said, I'll do that later. Let's go show you guys the outside really quick. Oh, snap, actually. Gotta put my shades on, it's too bright to look at that, the white siding without some shades. Put some shades on, and then let's check this out. All right, so I wanna give you guys like a side view. I know I didn't do this in the beginning, but you can kinda see it's a little wavy. Of course, it's still gonna have some dents in it just because it was like the actual sheet metal got messed up, but you can just kind of see like where the dents are. It's like all popped out here, but check that out. Not bad, huh? Like this right here, it doesn't actually go in right here. It's just, this is all messed up. The sheet metal is so high. I was thinking there might be some way I can fix that, but however, it looks way better. You can't really tell. It just looks like the sheet metal is messed up. You can't tell it hit something. Another thing I need to address and fix like this thing, this thing right here needs Jesus. So this thing is super bent and out of whack. If you can see right here, it has like no body shape to it at all. I'll show you guys the other one, but it has like no, it's supposed to have like this little roll out the whole way. And it's, it's just all jacked up. So it needs to go in quite a bit and it's all bent. So I'll just get a new one of those, but yeah, check it out. I think it came out pretty good. Somehow I lost like five screws. So I don't know how I lost them or what happened, but right here, I'm missing some screws. I'm gonna order some of those online. I wanna replace some of them too. Like down here where some of like the little beauty like trim pieces are, they're missing some screws and they're kind of nasty. Overall, I think it is way better than what we started with. I don't, I'm not really, I'll, I'll overlay some clips right here just to show you guys what it looked like a little before and after. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect, but it does look a hell of a lot better. You can't really tell as much that there was a huge ass dent there. So I just, leads me to my next question. What do you guys think? You guys think once I uh, wash this thing, I should paint all the aluminum pieces black? So my trailer is really similar to Kyle's, the one that he bought from Cletus. This is a 24 foot um, V nose. So it's actually like 26 with the V on it. So it's a two foot nose, 24 total. So it's a 26 foot trailer. It is a V nose. So it has all this like aluminum plate right here and along down the sides. This is what Kyle's looks like. As you can see, it has all the black where the aluminum is on mine. I don't know if they just painted this or if they actually got like black metal. I, I doubt that they had it professionally painted. I imagine they just got some spray paint and probably rattle canned it, but it looks pretty good. I like it better than the aluminum. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Maybe I'll switch it up, paint it black. Maybe get some different wheels for mine too. This has got some different wheels or maybe just rattle can the wheels black. Talk about trailers needing some loving. This one needs a lot of love, but yeah. As you can see too, like they did all the way around, of course. So it looks pretty good. Let me know down below what you guys think. Should I paint it black? I'm gonna paint the inside too. So I, I don't know, Carlos painted his, and then afterwards he said he kind of regretted it. Like he did uh, the epoxy on the floor. Uh, it doesn't really adhere to wood very well. You can still like mess up the wood and then the epoxy could come off. However, my trailer is really clean on the inside still. I haven't spilled anything. So now would be the perfect time to paint it or stain it. Carlos was thinking that we should almost do like a uh, some type of solid stain that's actually made for wood. So, so my question would be, what should we paint it? Or what kind of color should we do on the inside? Let me know down below. I guess that's all I got for you guys. Tomorrow we are gonna be doing the uh, clutch on Carlos's all motor hatch. If you guys don't remember, uh, last season we were doing a race and uh, his clutch got kind of welded to the flywheel. So we got a new replacement one. We're not really sure exactly what is all going to need to be fixed we're going to take it apart tomorrow i'll have a video on that as well so hope you guys are staying safe 
hope you're not too bored with this uh, whole quarantine thing but yeah i'm happy i fixed this dent finally i know why it, <laughs> i know why i will be happy i fixed it as well because he'd always give me shit for the dent so yeah that's gonna do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to like comment subscribe down below anyways thanks for watching and until next time guys see ya